Well, at the Chief Constable's Awards, uh, with me is PC Paddy Moore, who I have to say, I win the prize for getting you in front of a camera because even the Chief said, he won't talk to me, he's too shy. And I know you are, I, I, I know you quite well. This isn't something you don't like doing, but you, you have done incredibly well here over the year, at saving some lives. Yes, um, you have done incredibly well getting me to speak to you here today. <laughs> um, it's not shy, I just think that uh, the job allows me to be who I am and what I do and the people who needed help got help and they're decent people and deserved it. Okay, now I know we can't go into details because these are vulnerable people and, that, and we've got to protect them, but I mean, you know, saving a life, how does that happen even? I mean, each, each one must be completely different and, and you just have to go in there and you assess the situation and, and save them. I can guarantee that every time, the three times have happened, uh, twice with Michael Griffiths with me and once with Stephen Hall, uh, we were all terrified. Uh, I'm myself and Michael are scared of heights and two of them were one was a cliff rescue and one was off the top of Chester Street car park so yeah oh, right. so because you like negotiation skills there as well is it you have to get them to believe in you and you talk them off it Chester Street car park Steve Hall who was with me it was very much negotiation so we're in a position to make a a snatch for them yeah. and the other party on the cliff at Reen Drive it was just spontaneous she just went for it uh, and I had to jump at her and with her Do you put yourself at risk then? My wife might see this <laughs> yes unfortunately yes it's it's something that happens you don't think about it it's part of the training it's part of wanting to be a better person look after somebody else uh, I must I must say though I've had more publicity this week from changing the tyre than any of these three put together. What do you mean? What's happened? Tell me. Oh. Uh, a young lady came to Timbald on the practice day, flat tyre. I stopped her, told her she couldn't go any further. I had set duties. I asked her to wait, changed the tyre. She was in bits, crying. I didn't realise she had a sick son. She'd just come from hospital. I thought it was just something very mundane, very routine to do for somebody. That hoped that hopefully somebody would do it for my family and she hit social media and it went a bit haywire. You're a star and he doesn't like a it. A reluctant star, thank you. Okay, but I, I, don't, I don't know, How's, how have you found being a Bobby all these, these years? Because you are one of the guys, everyone sees you around the place. I would say I've absolutely loved my career in the police and I can't think of a better career for anyone to go into.